Hi, in this short video, I would like to show you the Baumundi Automation Studio. So it was really built for admins that don't see themselves as programmers. You know, they were hired on to manage DHCP and the domain and the VPN and, and help users out when there's problems, but they're not really programmers. And that's why I always say like IT admins are often not the best programmers. And I've been there, I've done this as well. And, uh, you know, Debugging VB scripts and PowerShell scripting can be tedious, can be time consuming, and you kind of have to have the mindset for it. So we at Baramundi developed a drag and drop scripting mechanism that allows you to get changes done on all of your endpoints, simply script them out and, and shoot them out to the endpoints. So right now with like half of the staff being off the network, you know, changing a registry key or a password in every machine is just something you can't do manually. You have to automate and automation doesn't have to be painful. To show you how that works, I'd like to show you our Automation Studio script editor here. And what you see here on the left side is like over 50 different commands that you can use at any time. Put together short three, four line scripts. Sometimes they can be a little bit more elaborate, but you know, that's up to you and get things done. So this example here, you see like something is starting here. There's just a simple X setup that gets run with a no reboot uh, option. So let's say that setup doesn't work well when the virus scanner is running. So you want to stop the virus scanner before you run this and start it afterwards. What you can do here, and let me show you that, you can just use the stop service command, drag it into the script, pick the service, and now it gives me a list of all my local services. Let's just grab one of them and select stop this service. And at the end of the script, after the executable was successful, we would then go and start the same service up again. Very simple, very quickly done and ready. So this is a script I can take and shoot it out to, let's say, everyone in marketing to install that software. Another example of what you can do with this, you can just say new and get like a new script. And you can do things like create shortcuts or delete shortcuts off the, off the desktop or the start menu. You want to download a file off the internet to everyone's machine, let's say your new price list or so, you can do that. You want to change variables in files, you can do that. Um, you can even interact with the user with like, uh, uh, are you ready to reboot the machine now? And if they say yes, then you would do a reboot. If they say no, you just give them like five minutes to ask again. Um, you can also change uh, local admin passwords. Let's say one of your colleagues uh, left and you know that he has the admin password to every single client out there. So what you do is you just use the create user command, which also manipulates existing accounts. And then you use the administrator account in here and change the password. Last but not least, you have some options here and say like, oh, I want to use a, can I change the password and the password never expires and you hit okay. And that's a script that I can take by itself, send it out to all my machines and change the local admin passwords. If you want to remove the local uh, locked in user from the local administrator group, something that's commonly done, or you want to add them to the local admin group, you could do that too, uh, not really recommended, but you can say like, okay, I want to remove uh, the user, percent username, percent from that local admin group and send that one out. So everyone that would log into the machine, if they happen to have local administrator credentials, we could lock them out uh, and take them out of that group and then lock out the user to make sure that they uh, can't use the credentials any longer. I can even change registry keys from here or change the security on files or the registry from here. So to change a registry key, Simple example, you look online, there's a new security uh, vulnerability that became known. The vendor says like, oh, you can, uh, as a workaround, change a registry key to disable the functionality and then you save, or you wait three or four weeks till we have a patch available. So how would you get that change uh, done? How would you get the registry key changed? You just take this change registry key here, click on the key, you actually, it shows you your local machine as a template, so I can actually click my way through to the registry key that I want to change. Uh, double click this one, change the value, and hit OK. So if I send this script out just by itself, so you would delete the other ones out, that would just change the registry key on all of your machines. No problem. Yeah. So many options that you have here. We also have, uh, when I go into a debug functionality, I can debug through the script and see what it does step by step. I can use a single step debugging. When you run something like this and it's safe, 
you even see that we have all of these different variables available. So you can, you know, react to whether you're on the domain or off the domain, or whether you have a certain IP address or whether you are 64-bit or 32-bit machine. And how you do that is here by the condition. So every single command can be executed in, with under certain conditions. So let's say this registry key, I only want to um, change the registry key. It's a 32-bit environment. So I would just say, um, set condition and for this I can use the variable architecture so I would say architecture uh, has to equal x32 and then you hit OK and so it will only execute on a 32-bit machine on a 64-bit machine it wouldn't so these are just the ideas that you can, things that you can do with it. You can get very elaborate with it. But again, it's not meant as a full programming language. It's really a toolkit for admins to get things done quickly. Usually a script build takes like just a few minutes and you can debug through it, test it out, and then send it out to your end users. Okay, if you want to know what else you can do with this, or you have a few ideas and want to confirm that we can do it, or you just want to see a full demo of our management studio, you know, feel free to uh, come to us and uh, we'll be happy to do a full demo and answer all of your questions. Thank you. So if you like what you saw and it spiked your interest, just come talk to us. You know, visit us at baramundi.com or send us an email to requestusa at baramundi.com and we'll be happy to schedule a meeting with you and show you the full potential of the Baramundi Management Suite.